Thank you. No, thank you. No, I'm a comedic genius. I'm gonna be a star. Do you mind if I smoke? It came to me in a dream last night. I decided what I wanted to do. I want to be a stand-up comedian. A star. So what happened in your dream? So we were in space. We met aliens. They had never had comedy before. So the only way for them to accept us was to introduce comedy, but no one on the ship knew how. And I said, I think I have a natural talent for it. And then I spoke my words, and this alien race, they laughed, and they loved it. And that's when I knew that I was going to be a star. I might just start small. Maybe some local venues. Maybe I go viral, make a video, maybe a blog, maybe a combination, a video blog. Or I might sleep my way to the top. My next step is to call Yolanda. The old land of Landersnera. She's my agent, kind of. Yolanda, I got a good idea. No, a good one this time. I want people to know. Someday you're going to find out your dream and what you're good at. And it might come to you in a dream. So if you find your dream in a dream, that's two dreams. Dream squared. And that's a dream worth chasing. He called me. He wanted to become a comedian. Stand-up comedian. This could work out, you know? He's funny. He's, he seems confident, which is, which is good. <laughs> Besides, it's not like if this crashes and burns, my future career will be ruined, right? Hello. Hey, Yolanda. You got me a show? Wednesday at 7. Alright, I'll see you there. Guess what? What, Paul? You know I've always wanted to be a stand-up comedian? Not really, no. Well, I've got a show Wednesday at 7, and you should come, because I'm going to be a stand-up comedian. You're not that funny, though, Paul. Can I look at the camera? Yes. Okay. Um... I'm Nina, I'm Paul's roommate. I've known him for, I guess, like almost five years. I love Paul. Um, he does this all the time. I mean, this, this is new with like the camera and stuff, but he does this all the time. He'll wake up one day with a new idea, and I'm usually the one to put back the pieces, and I'm getting a little tired of it, honestly, but I mean, I'll always be there for him. So, I'm on my way to my first comedy show, super excited. I don't know the location, the venue is what they say in the biz, but hopefully it's some open-minded people. My act is not for the faint of heart. I hope that I become instantaneously wealthy and famous and skinny. Three things. I don't think that's that much to ask for. One good show. Hey, Paul. How are you doing? Yolanda, I'm a little nervous, but I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, it's a, it's a good turnout. Be crowd. <laughs> All right, well, you're next, so. All right, I'm ready. Good luck. I'm ready, thanks. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, thank you. How's everybody doing tonight? Good. So, anyone here grow up in a bilingual home? Me neither, because this is America, and we speak one language, not two. This isn't Europe. Well, question for you all. Where do you find a dog with no legs? Right where you left him, because he doesn't have any legs to move. Oh, already heard that one? No? Okay, no? All right. So a baby seal walks into a club. But it doesn't die, so I gotta hit it again. No? Nobody? Okay. No? Okay. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. Alright. I'll hit you with my grand finale right here. What did God say to the Virgin Mary when she got to heaven? Damn girl, he's a fuck. Slow camel, bitch. Oh, Jerusalem.
No, I thought that it was horrible, and he does not know how to be a freaking comedian. He's never going to have a job in comedy, and good luck to that freaking show, because that sucks. He offended so many people. What's the matter, Paul? Shut up, Nina. Oh, baby. Paul, are you okay? Oh my gosh. Put the bottle down. It's okay. Oh, uh, it was horrible. What happened? I'm not talking about it. Well, just tell me what happened. I'm sorry. I couldn't go. I was busy. Mm. Like, you're funny. Paul, put the bottle down. It was just one show, Paul. Where are you going? You can't leave. You're drunk. I wasn't able to go to Paul's show tonight, his big debut, and he, he came into the apartment and he was distraught and he basically downed an entire bottle of vodka. I tried to comfort him but sometimes when he gets too drunk he doesn't listen to reason anymore and this time he stumbled outside of the apartment and I watched him leave. I couldn't stop him. Uh, I don't know where he went this time. Where the fuck am I? The show was a disaster. Nobody came. Nobody laughed. I'm not funny. I'm not funny. You're, this entire thing was just a lie. Worst idea I've ever had. I'm done. Get the get the cameras out. This, I didn't even. I wasn't even funny for you guys. Get the cam. I don't want cameras anymore. Stop. I'm ending it. You're about to get great television. I'm gonna. I'm gonna save your show. I'm jumping. I'm killing myself. It was horrible. I figured it out! I figured it out! There was a time when I would have jumped off this rock, but I figured it out. Can't sweat the small stuff. Like I once got a Hallmark card and it said, it's the little things that weigh you down more than the big things. Happy Memorial Day, Uncle Pat. When I got the card, I didn't think a lot about it. But now, Uncle Pat nailed it. He was right. I'm not gonna sweat the small stuff, because they're weighing me down. I figured it out. Tiffany. Do tell. I think I'm gonna be an exotic dancer. <laughs> <laughs>